Hey new What's up everybody? Frank is Lawson here. And well welcome <laughs> to another great Frankie Slauson show video. And uh, this one's gonna be quite brief unless I really go into detail on some of this stuff. But uh well as you guys may have known, you know, the in the last video that I did, uh besides the, the last ten interviews that I just recently uploaded over the weekend, I uh had a chance to celebrate my 28th birthday. Now the birthday was great, you know, I mean, it, it was just a normal day, regular day, didn't really do a whole lot, you know, just kind of just, did kind of, just made it my special day more or less. Well, I didn't really get anything for presents, and I know I shouldn't really expect that, because, it, you know, once you get older, you know, most of the time you, you, you're probably going to be responsible for buying your own gifts, you know, for yourself. You know, some people still expect gifts, I guess, when they, you know, when it gets around their birthday or Christmas or whatever, and sometimes it's all right to, to go spoil yourself or other people or whatever. But the point I'm trying to make is that I actually just, uh, I, I actually, there's some things that I wanted for my birthday that I know that if I, if I were to ask anybody else to do this, or if I were to ask my parents to do it or any friends to do it, they probably would laugh at me like, you know what, that's a waste of money. You know, you don't need it. And I just have to really remember that and just like, well, remember what you got on your birthday? You spent four hundred dollars on a grill, or you or you spent you know three three hundred dollars on a PlayStation Three or something like that. You know things like that. You know not so much what it was that you bought, but how much you spent. Now I'm not going to say how much I spent on this because that's not important. Uh, only I need to know that. A few other people know what I spent too, but it's not, I got some things that I wanted for a while. And then I did get one of the, some of the things when they first came out because they were too expensive. And I just got my big Amazon.com order. Or my, uh, I ordered it all through Amazon.com. And I got the stuff. Stuff arrived today. So, take a looky at what I got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied it I can say. I definitely am happy. These are well, I mean there's more things that I want, obviously. I mean there's 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 always things I'm gonna want you know, when it comes to this stuff, but uh I figure well, if nobody else is gonna buy it for me, then I might as well just buy it for myself. It's probably better that way anyway. Because it's like, when birthdays come or when Christmas comes, it's like, it seems like nobody knows what to get a person that you really know, that you've known for a long time, you know exactly what he or she likes, or what he or she dislikes, but yet, when it comes around the time of the year, you, you like, end up getting them something that they don't really want, you know? Like, I don't want a sweater, you know, or I don't want booties or anything like that, I want, you know, and I don't want a, a meat tray or whatever, that's, the, I mean, you know, it's obviously it's a thousand gift, but thing is, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to buy this stuff for myself, and this will make me happy for, you know, celebrate 28 years of life, and, or, or 27 years of life, and now start my 28th year, and uh, this kind of kicks it off pretty pretty good anyway. So what did I get? As I'll explain to everybody now. First thing, I'm not going to take it out. If I do a DVD update here soon, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys more. This is the Married with Children, the complete series set that contains all 261 episodes and on 32 DVDs. That's right. See that there? 32 DVDs. And on Amazon.com, right now it's selling for $40. And I think that's quite a steal because if you were to buy the, the actual set in the, or the individual sets, You'd be paying a lot more. You'd be paying probably 150 bucks almost if you bought the whole set individually. The next thing is, uh, I think I've shown the, some other uh, the other Three Stooges sets that I have. Well, this is Volume Four of the Three Stooges collection, from 1943 to 1945. Uh, I have the first three, and this will probably be, I'll probably get one more volume, Volume Five, because it has ten or the last ten. Uh, uh, shorts with uh, uh, Curly, and then it goes on to Shemp. And I, I didn't really care for Shemp. 
because to me, the three stooges are and forever will be Larry, Moe, and Curly. I don't care what anybody says. It ain't nobody else. It ain't Shep. It ain't Joe Besser. It ain't nobody else. It's Larry, Moe, and Curly. Get it right, folks. That's who the three stooges are. But anyway, so I got one for that. I can't wait to watch that. Uh, this next one here, as you can tell, maybe a little bit. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's a Drew Carey show, a complete first season. Uh, I, I wish they would come out with season two and three and four and five and whatever else. All nine seasons have came out, but for some reason they just won't do that. I don't know why. But I figure, what the hell, I have a, a greatest, like a best of Drew Carey show DVD and I laugh my ass off just from watching those seven episodes of, of that set. Uh, it's like a greatest hits or like a, you know, like a best of or whatever. Uh, but this is the complete first season. So, I can't wait to watch it. I got a good deal on that. Now, this one here, I'm really surprised how big it is. I mean, I can probably move this one here. You know, everybody knows, that's, that's known me for a long time, knows that I'm a huge, huge Goonie fan. I was, I'm, you know, and I say I'm a huge Goonie fan, not just because I like the Goonies, not just because I own a uh, movie of them or whatever. I, I'm a big enough fan where I actually went down three years, over three years ago, uh, and went down to the location of, uh, and I even, for those of you who are new to my channel or whatnot, I actually went to the location where this movie was filmed and went to the house, the actual house, and many other things and other places around Astoria, Oregon, where this place, where this movie was mostly filmed. And that's how big of a fan I am. And I went all by myself. When I got this today, when I just opened this up just a few minutes ago, I was very, very surprised how actual how big this set is. You know, and everybody else shows it on, on their, uh, you know, on their DVD updates or Blu-ray updates or whatever. I'm just like, it doesn't look that big. It doesn't look that, you know, it looks smaller. But then once you hold it up in your hands, I mean, it's pretty much the same size as the Mayor Children box in. And it's only one, one Blu-ray in there compared to 32 DVDs. But... It was only twenty dollars, and I figured, well, now's the time that I finally buy it, and it's definitely worth it. I mean, you see all the stuff that you can get, that you get on there. Holy crap! It's a lot of features. There's even a board game, and I was always waiting for one day for them to come out with a board game of of the Goonies. I mean, they the only other board game that I can remember was uh, the Goonies Monopoly. That was another one that I remember that they came up with. Uh, some of you might have it in your Monopoly board game collection, but uh, yeah, they actually do have a Goonies Monopoly. So, anyway, I wanted to convert my, because some of these movies that I have on DVD, I'm going to convert to Blu-ray, and I'm actually going to spend time to watch and all that, too. I'm not just going to not watch any of this stuff, because I really, I uh, really, really get into, you know, all the, all the Blu-ray, Blu-ray madness, I guess, so to speak. And I really like, I like watching Blu-rays and everything. Uh, I got a Blu-ray player and I got surround sound and all that stuff, so it's really, it's definitely worth worth the time, I think anyway, and worth watching it. So, and worth owning. And the next thing that I got was the Mike Myers, the Austin Powers collection on Blu-ray, of course, because I'm really starting to get the Blu-rays. There's a couple more Blu-rays that are that are on their way. But I'm not going to say what they are yet until they get here. But it has all three Austin Power movies. And this one, too, was a pretty good deal. I mean, I, $21 wasn't that bad of a deal. The stuff you can't even find. I mean, I ordered all this stuff online because all this, most of the stuff I can't even find or get, you know, locally where I live. So that's why I went ahead and just ordered it online. So it just worked out better this way. And it made my birthday... You know, you know, it's past my birthday now, but made it even extra special that I could get this. And everybody should have the Austin Powers collection, whether it be on Blu-ray, DVD, laser, di laser disc, or whatever. It's a hell of a collection, and this set is loaded with extra mojo. <laughs> so just so you know, in case if you're wondering about that. But the last three that I got, or last four, I should say, because I count this as two. Because it is two movies on Blu-ray. Sorry about that little interruption there. 
but I'm back now. <laughs> Alright, last three, four movies that I got on Blu-ray so far anyway. Because there's still a few more that are, a couple more that are on their way to make this order complete. But I got Ernest, Scared Stupid. Definitely a, a great movie, no matter what, no matter what format you watch it on. Then I got Ernest Goes to Jail. Ernest Goes to Camp. The two, so it's a two movie. It must be either be a two disc or a double. I think it's a double sided disc, I believe. As far as I know, not too much of a glare there. But uh, yeah, really good movies anyway. You know, just like West Bands would say, you're you're not a uh, a baller and a shot caller if you don't have these in your collection. <laughs> So, I don't know. It seems like everybody who has a Blu-ray player, that I know anyway, has purchased, especially this, Ernest Scared Stupid. But now that all the, they should release all the other Ernest ones, I'm, I'm making like a huge Ernest box set. That's what I think. But, it's hard to say if they ever will. But, we, one can only hope, I guess. And then, the final one for right now. A movie called Holy Matrimony. I really don't know anything about it. I've never seen it before, but it looked like a good. It, looked, it was cheap, like five ninety nine. So I figure, what the hell? What do I got to lose besides five ninety nine? So it's more of a filler movie anyway. So all right, everybody. So there you go. Frankie's little birthday gift, I guess, to me from me. Said and once again, I'm not going to say how much I spent on this, but you know. I just figured, you know what, I want it, these are things that I want, you know, and there ain't nothing wrong with that, there ain't nothing wrong with that at all, you know, I, I think anybody else in the, the situation that I'd be in, because, you know, I, I look at, like, the last four months that I was, you know, unemployed before I got hired on the, the American, I mean, there are some things in here that I've been out for a while that I really wanted to get, and I couldn't, because I didn't have really hardly any money, and... It really, it really sucks. And so this makes this all better now. The fact that I can actually say I can get these things now with my own money. You know, yes, I'm still living with my parents, but you know, it's it's not as bad as it seems. So anyway, Frank Slauson, and we'll see you guys next time. And I'll probably do a, an update again when those other two movies arrive on Blu-ray. Uh, but other than that, Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you next time for another great Frankie Slauson Show video. Bye-bye.